Every teen likes having independence. And we get independence in many different forms, like what we want to eat and what we read. But some people don't get the chance to read what they want. With help from the American Library Association and the Banned Books Awareness website, I bring with me the information you need to understand this problem. Banning books is common and needs to be stopped. If kids push to ban books, then we can make a difference for our future. But some people say that, ban that books are banned for a good reason, because sometimes they might go against certain people's religious beliefs. We all know Harry Potter. The first five books of the series were in the top 10 most challenged list for 2001, 2002, and 2003, which is really surprising because a lot of people love the series. Well, people said that Harry Potter promoted Satanism and <coughs> encouraged kids to meddle with black magic. But I believe that most of these reasons don't seem accurate. The most popular, um, sorry, the most popular challenges from 2000 to 2009 are one, sexually explicit, two, offensive language, and three, unsuited for age group. It all seems reasonable until you hear which books got banned and why. Captain Underpants is the most challenged and banned book. It's charged with offensive language and people say it's unsuited for its age group. Personally, I think the worst word in there is either poop or butt, which most kids know. And in 2012, Fifty Shades of Grey reached number four on the top 10, li top 10 list, while Captain Underpants got number one. <laughs> in the number five spot was an adorable story called and, and Tango Makes Three, which is about two male penguins who fell in love at a New York Zoo. The zookeepers gave them a penguin egg to take care of, which they did. The baby penguin was named Tango, hence the name of the book, and the book was banned for promoting a gay lifestyle. But moving on, us teens should be making our own decisions now that we're more mature. Teenagers are critical development years when it comes to making our own decisions, even if it's just with little things. And if parents keep hovering over us, we won't really know what to do when the time comes to make big decisions on our own. Parents are actually the people who try to ban books the most. So if we try and get them to realize that what that we should be able to read what we want now that we're old enough, we could probably we could make a difference. And reading helps us directly. In China, back in 2007, the first ever party of his science fiction and fantasy convention was held in Chinese history. But why? Neil Gaiman, a well-known British author, asked one of the officials, who gave a surprising answer. Upon realizing that China was more of a manufacturing of ideas place than a manufacturing of, um, or manufacturing of goods place rather than a manufacturing of ideas, they asked the big inventors of the decade about their lives. All of them had read science fiction and fantasy as a kid. If those people hadn't been given the chance to read what they want, then we might not have things like computers or iPhones. Reading for fun also improves memory and relieves stress, so you might as well give it a chance. We've been taking books for granted and forgetting that reading can help us in so many ways. Together, we can push to stop banned books, and together, we can help everyone get the chance to read. Thank you.